What's up everyone? On today's video, we're gonna be doing a market update for Monmouth County, New Jersey. We're gonna cover a couple different topics like the current home prices, mortgage rates, and a few others. But before we get started, if it's your first time to the channel, my name is Steve McCutcheon, and I'm a realtor at Berkshire Hathaway. On the Live in Central Jersey Real Estate channel, we cover everything related to the Central Jersey real estate market. So if you wanna be the first one to know what's going on in either Monmouth or Ocean County real estate, feel free to click the bell, hit the subscribe button, let's get the video started. The first thing I wanna cover is our current market environment, what's going on right now. And then as we go throughout the video, we'll head into some other topics like the fall, winter market, and just so on and where I see it going. So first off, I wanna go through what just the prices are. Right now, year to date in 2024, the median home sales price for a house in Monmouth County is $675,000. Now, that sounds like a lot, but what is that compared to the US in general? Well, the average for the US is only $425,000. So that is obviously a pretty big increase. That's $250,000 difference. In some areas in the US, that's the, that's the price for an actual home itself. So that's a pretty large jump. That isn't just a $10,000, $20,000 difference, $50,000 difference even. So just kind of give you an idea of where we are at versus the US. That is going to factor into a couple different reasons. One being just location. New Jersey, specifically Monmouth County, depending on where you live, you're an hour to an hour and a half away from either New York City or Philadelphia, and sometimes even both if you're in that Freehold Manalpin area. So it's obviously a good location. We have the Jersey Shore here too. That's a large tourist destination and just waterfront property. So anytime you go near the water, your home prices are also going to increase as well. So there's a couple of different factors playing into the role for the increased prices, but obviously $250,000 is a pretty substantial or substantial jump to the rest of the US. The next thing we wanna cover is going to be just the inventory that we have here. So right now in Monmouth County, we have roughly 1,500 listings for sale. That's gonna be a combination of adult communities, single families, and condos and townhomes. Now, price point wise, 425 of those are gonna be listed between 400 and $700,000. Now, 900 of those listings are also going to be priced 700,000 or above. The way I like to look at this is about 400 to 700, probably your first time average home buyer. So someone that's just gotten married, maybe looking to start a family, that's going to be their price range more than likely. Now, can it be higher than that? Absolutely, depending on your job and all that kind of stuff. But typically, that's probably where they're going to be looking in. 700, or then 700 and above has 900 listings. That's a pretty incredible difference to me that you're gonna have twice as many of that price range versus the average first time home buyer. So most of the people that are probably going to be moving into Monmouth County or they're going to be on the wealthier side, or they're also going to maybe have some equity built into a previous home, sell that and use that to move and then upgrade into it. So we spoke about the prices, the inventory, now let's check out the mortgage rates. Our two most common products or loan products in real estate are going to be your 30 year fixed and your 15 year fixed. There's plenty of other different mortgage ideas and products out there, but these are the most common ones that we lose, so we'll cover them real fast. The 30 year fixed rate is gonna be sitting at around 6.5% of me making this video, and then the 15 year fixed will be about 6%. So about a half a point difference on that one. The main difference between the two products though is your 30 year fix is going to be spanned out over 30 years obviously. So it's going to be double the 15 year. And that's going to mean your monthly payment is going to be lower because it's spanned out so far. But you will be paying more interest over time. So the opposite is true for your 15 year where you'll be paying more on a monthly basis, but less interest over time. So you just have to kind of see which one works best for you in that scenario. And recently the Federal Reserve actually dropped interest rates by about 50 basis points or half a point, which is a strong sign that they believe the economy the inflation that was going on is actually under wraps and they want to start decreasing the rates slowly. That's gonna be good news for buyers because the lower the rate gets, the easier your monthly payment gets. So as the rates lower, your monthly payment goes down versus when it goes higher, obviously it's going to increase. They were sitting around the high sevens, low eights for a little while. So as you can see, that got really difficult for certain buyers and pretty much priced certain people out of buying a home. But now they gave them all the way down to low sixes. They bounced up a little bit to six and a half. So it's gonna be a little bit of a game too. But I could expect by the beginning of 2025, if not mid 2025, you might even see a five in front of that. It wouldn't shock me one bit, but we'll have to kind of see just where it goes. Before we head on over into the next point, guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, getting some value from it, please smash the like button down below and even comment. Let me know what you think is going to happen in our real estate market now, in the future, a couple months from now, in your state, if you don't live in New Jersey, all that kind of stuff. But with that, let's get back to the content you came here for. As this is currently going on, we're right now in our fall market. So real estate follows the seasons a little bit. So you're going to have your spring, summer, winter, and fall markets. So with the fall, typically it's going to be a little bit more faster pace. The reason being is a lot of buyers like to get in before the holidays. So Thanksgiving and Christmas, I would say more is that Christmas time at end of the year, but Thanksgiving too, some people want to host right before that. So that's always going to at least speed people up in terms of wanting to get the transaction done faster rather than slower. So that's kind of how the fall market works. You'll see closings go for maybe 45, 60 days, trying to get in for that 30 day. 
when you know, once we head into the winter time, this is when things start to slow down for real estate. So you're talking right around Christmas up until I would say at least for New Jersey, once the Super Bowl hits, ironically, that seems to signify that, okay, we can start looking for a home, getting ready for the spring, maybe listing our place and trying to buy a new one. And this is going to go throughout the entire summer as well. So during the fall or sorry, during the winter times, I would say fall and winter, you're going to have a lower inventory but also lower competition because people are usually moved in before the school year for their kids already. So you're gonna cut out a large portion of the buyers and sellers. And then during the spring and summer times, we'll have a higher inventory, but also higher competition because more people are looking to move. And the last thing I wanna cover today is going to be where's the market going or where do I think it's at least going to go. Personally, I think if you're looking to purchase, right now is probably the best time you're going to have for quite a while. The reason being, as we kind of just mentioned, there's gonna be a little bit lower competition. And even if the inventory is a little lower, the idea is you're not going to be paying as much because there's not going to be as many people bidding on a home right now that's moving ready, priced well, and it's not going to drive it up dramatically like you might see in the springtime. So possibly you can even sneak in, purchase a home now, and ride out an appreciation wave during the springtime. So I think that now is probably a better time to buy because if rates drop like they're supposed to be, like we just mentioned with the Fed, and it comes to the summertime at the same time, or sort of spring and summer market, you're going to be facing higher competition, lower interest rates, and people will be able to bid a lot more for a home because of that extra buying power. So right now, at least in my opinion, if you're buying, get it done as soon as possible, at least in the next three to six month time period. And as I, and as I kind of just alluded to, price point wise, I think prices are going to continue to increase. I know no one wants to hear that and that's kind of sucky, especially if you're on the buying side and you've been waiting for prices to continually drop. Unfortunately, with the inventory being where it's at and how many people that are still looking for a home, and that's not even counting the people that are probably on the sidelines right now that were priced out and they're just maybe getting back into it. I've had quite a few buyers of my own just reach back out to me that held off over the last year or two being like, okay, now I'm ready to purchase. So when you add in people that put it off, the ones that are naturally going to be wanting to buy maybe their first home or whatever the case is, on top of rates lowering, I think you can see an absolute crapshoot i'm not saying maybe 2020 levels but i think we're going to see a market more similar to that than we have in a normal interest rate environment so what's the big way to combat this well we need more homes that are going to be listed if we have the same number of homes listed as same number of buyers well then prices aren't going to dramatically increase because there's not enough demand to or the demand isn't outpacing the current supply that we have right now that is the case though we have more demand than we do available homes for sale where can we get more homes possibly new construction now we have about 200 of those listed on our MLS and that's going to be from quick builds that are currently already built that can move into to be built and ones that are currently in the process of being built. Just 200. That's just listed on our MLS though. Typically Toll Brothers, K Horvanian, Ryan Homes, whatever other big builder that you see, they want to list all their lots available to us uh, realtors on our MLS, but they might have some extra ones on the side too. So that number probably isn't accurate. And I would say it's per, not dramatically higher, but it's going to be higher than what's currently available for us to see. So. There will be some new construction available, but unless the existing home market picks up dramatically and then we get a lot more listings on that side, it's gonna be hard for me to see that prices don't continue to rise because we're gonna have more demand than people looking to sell. So why don't people wanna sell exactly? Well, the biggest reason we've heard over the last couple of years is they have a low 3%, maybe even high 2% interest rate on their house. Why should I sell some, sell that currently and then go buy in that six, seven, 8% range? The reason being they won't, or the reason they don't want to do that is obviously one, your monthly mortgage is going to go up dramatically, and two, if you're upsizing your home, you're taking, you're upsizing from a low three percent interest rate to a seventy percent interest rate, let's just say, but also at the same time you're increasing the home price, your payments are going to go up even higher than that. So there's no need for a lot of people to do that. They can either build for a little bit cheaper, not necessarily build a new home, but build and expand upon their current home if they have the space to do so. Other people, like myself, kind of, I have a low three percent interest rate in my townhome. After I wanna move into another primary, more likely than not, unless I need the equity from this house, I'm just going to rent it out and it's not gonna be on the market for another 30 years. So a lot, you're seeing a lot of people also pull that route too. So there's a kind of couple of different scenarios of why you're not gonna see nearly as many listings because of the low interest rate environment we had for so long. And on the selling side of things, I wouldn't be too worried about it too much guys. So if you're looking to sell maybe in three months, six months, a year from now, you're not really sure, or you're trying to time the market, for all the reasons we just mentioned, I don't see prices dropping dramatically anytime soon, especially here in New Jersey, being a very desirable area to live and all the other things we talked about too. So take it as you will. If you're looking to upsize, downsize, do it at your own pace and when you feel comfortable doing it, retiring, uh, if your house is declining and you have another reason, whatever the case is, right? People, you, you typically just don't sell a home to sell a home. There's something going on in your life to make you want to do that. So take it on your own timeline. I wouldn't be too worried. Buying. I would really try to recommend getting in as soon as possible, riding out the appreciation wave, and you'll probably be a lot happier doing it now. Less competition rather than waiting and possibly getting outbid a few or a couple of times because it's really not fun to do that. 
And if you're looking to buy or sell in the Monmouth County area, feel free to reach out. All my contact information is down low in the comments and description. Whether you're one month, three months, six months, even a year out, it doesn't matter to me. Let's just get you on the right path towards your real estate goals. And if you're looking to move to a different part of the Central Jersey area, check out two videos popping up and hopefully they'll help you out a little bit too. Have a great day.